Hi guys, I'm Murph and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about piercings. So I, as I said in the last video, got a few piercings and I want to give some tips and things for people who've never had a piercing before or if they've just had their first done. Some little tips and stuff and talk about what it's like to get the piercing. I have recently got my helix done as well so there is a video about that up so if you want to go check that out I'll put it in one of the cards up here and it'll probably be, it'll be on my channel somewhere so go check that out too. So first of all I'm going to say definitely definitely eat something before you go and get a piercing. Whatever piercing you're going to get, you need to have something to eat beforehand. There's only so much adrenaline that your body can run on and it wears out after a bit and you may feel faint afterwards. Some people do faint by the way. Um, if you do, don't worry, it's completely normal. Where that you might, you probably won't. It really depends on your pain tolerance and your reaction to what it looks like. Um, but you may feel a little lightheaded, do so I do recommend sitting down afterwards, like just sitting, sat down for a little while. I did after my helix. Um, I had to sit down for a few seconds because I felt a bit, I felt a bit funny. It was a bit of a change, it was a bit of a shock. Um, and I do recommend doing that if you can try and sit down for maybe ten seconds, twenty seconds. If the seconds and your thirds, they will put a dot on your ear of where they're going to do the piercing. So. They take a little pen and they just do a dot on wherever you wherever you're getting it done. Ask you to look in the mirror to check that you're definitely happy with the placement. Push pull gun versus needle. So with my seconds, they did just do it with a push pull gun. Um, they just decided to do that. They can do that because it's on the lobe. It's very close to your firsts where you can also get a gun done. However, with my thirds, they did ask if I wanted a needle or a push pull gun. I did choose the gun. I just I preferred that for my lobe. It was just um, a lot quicker for me to do it like that. I do choose to have it with a needle. That's completely up to you. It's completely your decision. And it doesn't matter if somebody else has had it done a certain way. If you want it done that way, that's completely your decision. And you're well within your rights to choose to have it done that way. The pain. So further up you go on your lobe piercings, the more pain there is. So my seconds, I didn't feel at all. It was just hot. And then with my thirds, this one I didn't feel like on my left ear. I didn't really feel it. It was a little bit of a pinch, but that was about it. But on my right ear, my third was quite painful. I think they like they piss it a little higher up than on the other ear. And so it was a little bit more painful. There's no blood with these. There wasn't any with me. You you might have some blood with it, but it's very unlikely. I didn't have any with it. It was just very hot and it went a little bit red afterwards, but that was it. Um, it was only sore to really clean the first day and then after that it was fine. I could sleep on it easy, like I could sleep on my seconds and my thirds very easy, no pain at all with sleeping. It was just hot and it was just slightly uncomfortable but it was not painful at all. I will say be prepared for a bit of shock, so no matter what piercing you get it's going to be a bit of a shock. It's going to be a bit of a shock to the system and you're going to be like oh okay um so i just think you need to remember that bear that in mind because it can be a bit daunting when you first see it because it's quite a bit of a change from what you're used to as long as you bear that in mind you'll be fine it may just take you a day or two to just get used to it get used to it <laughs> that's it it may just take you a day or two to get used to it and just adjust to it um but after that you should be fine so there is a six week healing process so for six weeks you need to clean it regularly and make sure not to take it out and just to make sure that it stays clean and it heals perfectly um, and then after the six week period you are able to take them out I think um, but obviously if they're still not ready then I wouldn't do that like I wouldn't do that at all but if you think they are ready at the six week period then go ahead and they should be fine. I'm on my second week and they're healing perfectly. All of my piercings are healing perfectly and I've had no problems, no infections. They only bled once, but that was just, I think that was like the second or third day after getting them done, which is very normal. So don't worry if that happens, just clean it up. Make sure that there's no more blood coming out. Um, and just keep an eye on it if that happens. Subscribe down below because the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video. And go check out my Helix piercing video because that's on my channel somewhere too. Go follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is babyroll1913 and we are currently on 11.7k which is crazy. See you guys in the next video. Bye!